According to early Celtic Christianity, heaven and earth are only three feet apart, but in a thin place that distance is much shorter. Where the veil between this world and the next is thin, our ancient Celtic peoples identified these places as sacred. A thin place is where you can walk in two worlds. The worlds are fused together, knitted loosely where the differences can be discerned, or tightly where the two worlds become one. Thin places aren't perceived with the five senses. Experience in them goes way beyond those limitations. Mahatma Gandhi in his spiritual message to the world in 1931 speaks of this when he says, there is an indefinable, mysterious power that pervades everything. I feel it, though I do not see it. It is this unseen power which makes itself felt and yet defies all proof, because it is so unlike all that I perceive through my senses. It transcends the senses. My personal thin place is a very remote area in the far northwest of Scotland, situated in between the mountain massifs of Foynivan and Ben Arkell, well away from the distractions of human existence. To get there, I leave the single track road at Loch Stack Lodge and hike the old stalker's path for seven miles into the mountains, leaving behind me human habitation and man's indelible mark on the landscape to enter a wilderness area of natural beauty and calm. As I hike along this path for a couple of miles, I cross a Rubicon. This place draws you into itself. It transports you into the presence of the world beyond this world. We become very small, yet we gain connection and become part of something larger than we can possibly perceive. You would think this wilderness area, although having breathtaking scenery, is bleak and also much of a sameness, but you would be so wrong. If you cast your eyes downwards and stop to observe, there are many wonderful natural sights that unfold before you. You just need to stop, look and experience it. The ever-present peat bogs, where the few plants that can grow here don't rot away, but build up to form layers of peat. The colourful sphagnum moss that can soak up more than eight times its own weight in water. The small burns taking water from the mountains and joining others to form waterfalls. The carnivorous sundew plant whose favourite snack is a pesky highland midgey. We see the beauty of the delicate purple bog orchid and the distinctive pink lousewort. And in the very odd sheltered places, the occasional acid soil loving rhododendrons. On the land in this area, we see many massive glacial erratic rocks perched where the melting glaciers of the last ice age left them stranded, unmoved in 12,000 years. In this area are the oldest rocks in Europe, dating back two and a half billion years. Along the path, life is ever present, and on the lochs, black throated divers are in their element in this area. There is so much to experience in this place if you just stop and look. Eventually, I arrive at the end of the trail at Loch Natuach and spend time just taking everything in. Slowly tuning into the silence, the sounds of nature become discernible. The sound of the quartzite scree shifting on the mountain slopes. A sound like breaking glass. The sound of the distant waterfall. The sound of the loch lapping gently on the shore. The sound of the flying insects and birds. All sounds are heightened 
in the lonely silence of this thin place. Our ancestors knew this and used them as stopping places where men and women open a pathway that leads to satisfying the familiar hungers and yearnings common to all people on earth. The hunger to be connected, to be part of something greater, to be loved and to find peace. This poem encapsulates what it is to experience a thin place. Sitting here, this spectacle before me unfolds. I can see the entire universe, all that exists, all that has to behold. Not enough words do justice on this earth. I hear bees humming and distant waterfalls, the wind gently whispering in my ear. There are distant sounds, but nothing disturbing. This is spirit, reminding me I am here. I am at one with the rocks, the sky and the land. I feel their existence in my very soul. Every sound my ears discern, every sight my eyes scan, reminds me I am just a part of the whole. I am here. This is where I belong. There is an intrinsic, mystical spirit woven into the fabric of nature, the landscape and sky that calls out to every human heart, if only the heart is willing to listen. <laughs>